a light year is? A light year? A light year. A light year? A light year? It's a unit of measurement. It's a distance. It's a very long amount of time. Or it could be a unit of time. How do you think the size of our sun, our star, compares to the size of other stars around us? Uh, slightly smaller. It's smaller. There's one, maybe one more planet that's a little bit bigger. How many stars do you think are in our Milky Way galaxy? A lot. <laughs> Probably like 50 million. Thousands. How many galaxies do you think there are in our universe? Thousands as well. Five, About five galaxies? Say, like, ten, or ten galaxies? Yeah, yeah. It's clear that there are many misconceptions regarding the sizes and distances of our universe. In this series of interviews, we will specifically focus on the misconceptions people have regarding distance between objects in our solar system. We will explore these topics further in If the Earth Were the Size of a Basketball. In order to comprehend the size of our solar system, we're going to create a small scale model. We are going to shrink down the Earth to the size of a basketball. If the Earth is a basketball, then the moon would be a tennis ball. And this would be the sun! Question 1. If the Earth was the size of a basketball and the Moon was the size of a tennis ball, how far apart would they be from one another? We're going to shrink down the size of the Earth to the size of a basketball. Okay. Alright, so if the, Earth, the, if the Earth were the size of a basketball, I'm going to tell you that the Moon would be the size of a tennis ball. Okay. What I'll do is give you the Earth okay. and give you the Moon, okay. and I'm going to ask you how far apart would you put those two from one another. I'll put it here. 15 feet? 15 feet. Say this big? This far? That far. Okay. So I'm here. Okay. Um. I don't know. Guess. Okay. Well, okay, hold on. I can actually do that more precisely. I guess more like this, but... Okay. Question two. If the Earth was the size of a basketball and the Sun was the size of the Kiva Center, how far apart would they be from one another? If the Earth were the size of a basketball, the Sun would actually be almost exactly the size of this room. Really? Okay. It, cool. would, it would actually be a little bit bigger. Okay. So what we're going to ask you is how far away would the Earth be then from the sun, like how far would you have to move that basketball away from this room in order for it to be a correct scale model? Maybe like a mile away? All the way to Lansing at least. Lansing? <laughs> Quarter mile? Quarter mile. Okay. Um, perhaps to where the fence is. 100 yards. Okay. Oh. Right. Sure. 8 times 60 is 420, times 60 is 4,000, times 4, so 24,000. Question three, how far would Pluto be? And then what about, so that's Earth is the third planet from the sun, Pluto, it's not a planet, but it's on the outer regions of our solar right. system. So where do you think Pluto would be? Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids. <laughs> it's like 76 miles, 73, 76 miles. Okay. Maybe a mile? Yeah, maybe 15, 20. 15, 20 miles, okay. Past Kellogg Center. Uh, I want to say the lag is at least, I, I don't know, like, um, I think maybe 50 or 100 times further than the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Okay. Do you want to know the answer? I do. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this would actually be about how far the moon would be away from the Earth. Okay. It'd be about 22 feet. Okay. So in this neighborhood. Oh, so wow. you're looking at about, like, 22 feet. Okay. The distance the Earth would have to be in Pluto. You were actually really close. Uh -huh. The Earth would be a mile and a half away. Okay. And then Pluto would be about 65 miles away. So All right. The Earth would be a mile and a half away on the scale model. Pluto would be six.
65 miles away. So it would be um, it would be almost to the if we traveled south from here, it'd almost be at the border of Michigan. That's crazy. Um, Luna would be 65 miles away, or um, towards if we were traveling south, all the way down towards uh, the border of Michigan. So yeah, it's way off. <laughs> Boys and girls, I didn't see you there. Why don't you follow me outside and let's take a look at the data. It turns out that people grossly underestimated the scale of our solar system. Uh, they grossly underestimated the relationship between Earth and the moon, uh, but especially so between uh, Pluto and the sun. So we're going to take a look at uh, some of the reasoning behind this and see what they say. So why did you choose those? I think because in my mind, I always know that it's a lot further than I think it'll be, so that's kind of the relative size, not my best guess. I, I was trying to picture when you have my little elementary school solar system with the little earth and the things that rotate around and relation to one another on a broader scale. Talk to an expert, uh, an astronomer at Michigan State University, and he's going to give us uh, some ideas about why there are misconceptions regarding scale. They often can confuse the apparent size of an object as we see it here on the Earth with the actual size. The moon and the sun look about the same size in the sky. In fact, they're very close. It, if the uh, moon were any smaller compared to the sun, we wouldn't be able to have total eclipses of the sun. But one has to turn that into the actual size of the object by realizing that the two are at very different distances. Whereas it's some 400,000 kilometers to the moon, it's 150 million kilometers to the sun. And therefore, the equal apparent size corresponds to a hugely different size and actual diameter. Many models used in classrooms are not to scale, and pictures found in textbooks and online often place planets much closer than they actually are. Well kids, I hope what you have seen today has helped you understand the vast distance between objects in space. Remember, if you ever get confused, just shrink down the earth to the size of a basketball. Oh, oh, by the way, we're all made of stardust. Man, this is a flat earth. I thought the earth was round.